here to talk about Kanye Jebediah West. Yay, Pak Shakur. Yeezy, Yeezy jumped over again. We're here to talk about him. Yes, yes. Yeezy, Yeezy jumped over jump, man. That was the bar. But anyways, apparently Donna Summer Estate is trying to sue him over I Feel Love sample on Good Don't Die. Which are... Uh, uh, everybody. I apologize. Sorry. God damn it. It's early. But anyways... Um, yeah, she's trying to sue, um, the sample of I Feel Love on Good Don't Die, which, uh, you see it in the music business a lot, that there should be sample clearances. Now, let me give you a little story before I keep going into shit. If you don't know, a lot of the time, I know we be hearing these samples and these songs and it goes crazy. A lot of the time, depending how big the song is and depending, you might have to pay a cut to the artist to get it cleared. So you might hear some shit with a sample in it and you're like, oh, this is dope. A lot of the time it has to get cleared. And depending on the artist, how big the song is, they could ask for more. They come on publishing or certain rights of the song and yada, yada, yada. We've seen in the case of Juice Road, even though it wasn't exactly a sample, he kind of interpolated it. It like they didn't use a sample, but it kind of made it sound the same for Lucid Dreams. Um, Sting had a case there and he kind of won the case to the point like he owned 90 percent of that song. So 90% of that went to Sting. And like the other 10%, I guess, uh, Juice and the producer broke that shit down. So it was what it was at that point. So it just happens at times, shit like that happened. We've seen it a lot of time how, um, was it the Marvin Gaye estate uh, sued Robin Thicke and Pharrell for blurred lines? Like we see it a lot of the time when certain shit doesn't get cleared or you don't have permission to use some shit. So I wasn't surprised at this, right? Same with the Backstreet Boys, which I hope eventually they clear that shit because that shit is tough. But if y'all got the link to the, if y'all got the link to that shit, because that shit's on hard, if y'all got, you know, send it my way. You know, that Backstreet Boys sample he was trying to flip, that shit was tough. But with that being said, we see it so you don't get clearance. Now, Kanye be on some shit like, hey, I'm not going to ask for clearances. You heard this shit. It's a courtesy or whatever have you. It is what it is. Also, I, he's independent now, and it, I think it's a little bit more difficult, but he's fucking Kanye. I'm pretty sure it would be easy. He has the name recognition, so it won't, it won't take that long compared to if you're a newer act. It will take long. But hey, we'll see exactly what happens with that little case. But besides that, man, we'll see. Let's go talk about it. Oh, hey, interpolated. See, good don't uh good don't die contains unauthorized interpolation of Donna Summers. I feel good. It's been a road of a whirlwind of a ride for Kanye West, who finally unveiled his joint project with Ty Dolla Sign Vultures one earlier this month. Already, the album uh, proved to be. Uh, monumental for Kanye and Ty Dolla Sign. However, Ye now faces a new lawsuit as a result of the project. The estate of Donna Summer has filed a lawsuit against Kanye's against Kanye over her single "I Feel Love," which he sampled on Vulture's one single "Good Don't Die" without proper authorization. According to the estate, he used a sound alike to interpolate one of her songs after initially being denied his request to sample "I Feel Love." Oh, I see. So this is interpolation, which you could still get uh, sued for, like I said in the Juice Road case. As you see, a lot of the same with these Bronx drug guys, a lot of them sample song. Name if they're with a label as well, they probably do have to get it cleared, depending on your label. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I don't know if the artist would get a cut, but definitely they might have to pay for it to get cleared. You know, some of that budget might have to go to getting the sample cleared. Also, yeah, so you could also get caught for interpolation. Now, I might have to go listen to the original song and come back and listen to this. I'm like, because I just thought it was a sample, but maybe it was a different person singing. But anyways, <laughs> you've likely heard the song already, even though it was later removed from the album days later after its release. Uh, becoming one of the highlights of the project, though, the familiarity of I Feel Love is undoubtable part of the appeal. However, Donna Summer's team made it abundantly clear in their in their suit that they already denied Ye permission to use the song. Apparently, he reached out to clear the sample on January 31st, yet he attempted to find a loophole around it. Still, Summer's estate explains that the interpolation won't protect Ye from copyright infringement. Yeah, you know, we said we've seen that happen with Jules Schroed. Okay, <laughs> we just see that. Because it's it really isn't difficult to understand why the state of the late singer who still controls the copyright of the song didn't want did, uh, didn't want to off 
they didn't want to clear the sample. TMZ reports that this is presumably due to the string of controversy that surrounds Kanye from his comments on George Floyd to his pro-Hitler tirades. At the end of the day, they decided that Ye's use of her song wouldn't be beneficial and passed up on Ye's offer. As for why the song is currently unavailable to stream on DSPs, it's in certain markets, Summers Estate said that they reached out to streaming platforms to remove the song. Although those streaming platforms like Apple and Spotify removed the song, it eventually returned to the track list. However, the song already gained millions of streams. And for those who purchased the album on Apple Music, it apparently it's apparently still available to listen to. The estate of Donna Summers is seeking major damages, along with an injunction to prevent the song from being distributed. I ain't gonna lie, listen. <laughs> Once it's out there, honestly, you could still get it, sadly, bro. Even if it's not on DSPs, let's not act like niggas can't find a way to get this shit. Like, come on. I get where they're coming from, though. And yeah, yeah, listen. I do think Kanye is talented, and he is a fucking genius when it comes to this music shit. The production on that project alone is better than majority of people's albums and them rapping. Let's keep it a book. Like, as crazy as that man is, that is fucking... Uh, Kanye Jabadiah West Freeman. Like that nigga in his mind, he freed the slaves and put Yeezys on their feet. Like, let's keep it a buck at this point. With that being said, it is interpolation. They do have a fucking case. I'm not gonna act like they don't. So we'll see what happens with it. But if y'all think y'all gonna get that shit removed, like again, if I was a person who purchased the album, you're a damn skippy. Even if that is true, it was interpolating and was 100% clear. I purchased the album with that song on there. So I should get, be able to have that song. Ooh. Ooh, sorry about that. Another yawn. I should be able to have that song. If you take it off DSP's Apple Music, all that bullshit, that's great. But I paid for that shit. I should have that song. Now, I will say this. I don't know what Kanye's going to Yo, it has not been a good week for Kanye this Adidas is selling Yeezys without him being part of the brand. Like, it's been a little crazy week for Kanye. I hope he good. I hope he figure it out. But, yeah, man. You might have to pay up this time, Kanye. It is what it is. You got to take that one. It is what it is. Hey, just clearing is better. You try to get around it. It was what it was. But, yeah. You, you might just got to pay this one. Or, yeah, you might just have to have some hire some good-ass lawyers like Diddy trying to do and. Hopefully you get out of this jam, but we'll see exactly what happens with this case. Besides all that, what do y'all think? Comments down below. Links in the description. I got some other videos for y'all to check out. Besides all that, you already know what it is. It's your friendly neighborhood K A sign out for today. The black TJ that while I'm doing this thing. My name ring bells like Quasimodo. Hit like subscribe. You trying to hit a little bit more to hear me? I'm gone. Slimes and peace, guy. Aye.